Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my 100 Days of Bible Promises by Shana Noel from Illustrated Faith. I'm only on day 19. I am taking this super slow. Trust in the Lord right on time for me. I decided to journal this page and I am currently underlining some key thoughts that I had read in this devotion. So it's called Trust in the Lord and that's just kind of where I am trusting in God just not depending on myself not self-confidence but God confidence and trusting and relying on on his word over what I see over what I feel so I was just grateful to read this it says if there's a single word that describes life it's unpredictable one day you are motivated and ready to tackle whatever is before you and the next you're wondering how did I get here this is not what I had in mind for my life. This is why God says not to trust in yourself or your circumstances. That combination will lead to disaster. Instead, trust in him completely. He is with you and he is for you. Wow. When you're focused on seeking and doing his will, he will light your path in the way you should go. You can trust that. And so the scripture that I decided to focus on, there uh three one two three four reference scriptures here and I decided to use the one in Psalm 9 verse 10 it says those who know your name trust in you because you have not abandoned those who seek you Yahweh and that looks like it's from the Holman it's abbreviated Holman Christian Standard Bible I believe so I did some research on the verse using Matthew Henry a Bible illustrator and I just took some notes and I decided to type them up. They're really a small print, but I wanted to just type in those notes. This is a journal card from Praise and Pray. And it was one of the, it's like a scripture journaling or something like that, that you can use in your Bible to write down scripture. As you can see, prayers, reflections, and application. I thought that was so nice, so cool. And then you have the verses. So you can write them out and section them off just like that. So I looked up. Psalm 9 verse 10 it was just ministering to me just how that God never abandons or forsakes his creation his children and that we can put our trust in him and that if we seek him through prayer and and waiting on him in faith that he will direct us where we need to go and it doesn't matter what circumstances we find ourselves in we can trust in the Lord in all things and sometimes I compartmentalize God and say okay I need to trust you for this but um, this over here I can handle and that's not right I have to make a choice to depend on him for each and everything so that was just convicting and comforting me at the same time um, one of the reflection says God never did nor will disown or desert any that daily seek him and trust in him though he afflict them he afflict them he will not leave them comfortless though he seemed to forsake them for a while yet he will gather them with everlasting mercies and that's just so so comforting to know that God is in favor of his children and he really does want us to trust him for everything and I don't have to separate him and say no you, you don't have to handle this I'll handle this but it just blows my mind that he wants to handle every single thing even the minute things so this just reminded me to trust in him above myself and above my circumstances and then if I just continue to seek his face he won't desert me in any area of my life and I just have to trust that and I have to believe that so thank you for watching and remember if I can Bible journal so can you take care and thank you for watching